Hello ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters in the Lord. This is Jimmy Miller with Trumpet of Truth Ministries. Today is February 7th, 2020. And I'm going to talk about some events that's going on. But first I want to talk about the wickedness, the evilness that we had in the Super Bowl halftime. Which I don't really watch the Super Bowl, but I watch the halftime to see what the wickedness is about. And I'm glad I do. This here I want to show you. Uh, and I stopped the video. You can see a woman by the name of J, J, uh, J Lo, uh, Jennifer Lopez, and she's dancing, and, there, and she's on a pole. And here I stopped the video, and if you look, the people on the bottom here have their hands raised up. The people right here around her are on their feet, like in a, in a, in a worship position, and she is in a crucified position. Now, can I say, as Jesus hung on the cross, shedding his blood for us, the people at his feet were mocking him and laughing at him. Here, Jennifer Lopez, as far as I'm concerned, is blaspheming and mocking the crucifixion of Christ in a crucified position while half naked, not shedding her blood, but shedding her lust with the people and the people at her feet worshiping her as millions watched this with the little boys and girls. And these little boys and girls will grow up and be like her. Have we, the American people, stooped so low where we deny the Lord of our salvation and trade it in for a Posing as a crucified Satanist of the goddess of lust, Jennifer Lopez? Shame on us. Mocking the crucifixion of our Lord Jesus Christ. And you want to know why? And you want to know why the wrath of God is falling upon planet Earth? It's time to cry out. It's time to cry out and repent, people. Look at this. Mocking Christ, people worshiping her at the feet as she is acting like she's a crucified and the people down below are worshiping, praising her. Now you look at this. This is a sad sight. Praise the Lord, I have to reposition the camera, amen? But that is a sad thing, that here we have the Super Bowl watched by probably 100 million people, and they got to watch this woman in a crucified position while people are worshiping around her feet. And you want to know why the wrath of God has fallen upon planet Earth. I want to say thank you to everybody who's tuning in tonight and allowing me to come into your your living room into your house today and entrusting me with the with the word of God and and I give you praise and glory to those who support me for, pr with prayers first of all and financially and uh, uh, God bless y'all God bless y'all and y'all could if you want a bumper sticker you know someone told me they put it on their on their, their trash can everybody sees that passes in their, in their car the government sees it you can go to my website and um, that's Trumpet of Truth, Jimmy Miller. Trumpet of Truth, Jimmy Miller. Let me say anything better. Trumpet of Truth, Jimmy Miller. Praise God. And you can, you can uh, go ahead and see if I get more like that. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm gonna put the light in my eyes, then I won't be able to see. Glory to God. Well, you know, the last time I talked to you about the coronavirus, about two weeks ago. China only had 26 dead, and I told you that the death toll will rise. Well, guess what? The death toll rise. There's over 650 deaths now so far, and climbing. People are dead in the streets, I understand. And uh, in fact, that doctor who exposed this virus back in December, they was aggravated, mad at him, was going to jail him. Well, he wound up dying yesterday or today. And there's over 28,000 that are infected right now in China with this coronavirus. 
Are we in the last days? And I would think so, and we would come under Matthew 24, chapter, 7, uh, chapter 24, verse 7, we talked about pestilence. Pestilence and plagues. And uh, if the coronavirus is a pestilence, there's a plague. Amen? And uh, over 800 million masks has been distributed in China. That's kind of hard to, to grip. 800 million masks. Like the mask is really going to stop this virus. Let me tell you something. This virus is bad enough. There's nothing going to stop it. It will seep into the eyeballs or some kind of way to a cut or so. But, you know, it, it's, it's going to get bad. And then also, China not only is, is not only affected by the coronavirus, but it's affected now by a bird flu outbreak near the epicenter of the coronavirus. It said hundreds of millions of chickens are at risk in being wiped out. Now watch. They saying they're wiping these chickens out. We need to watch that they don't ship those chickens, kill those chickens, and freeze them and ship them to us. And we in the stores just go in and buy them from Walmart and, and, and uh, uh, Rouse's or maybe uh, Winn-Dixie or whoever. Or, you know, your local grocery store. They may ship these, 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 uh, these uh, infected chickens to us. You know, so you need to be careful. Um, so that's, that's a mess. You know, America now has 12 cases, I think it is, of the coronavirus. It was three, two weeks ago. Now I think it's 12 cases I heard today. Amen. And the bird flu, Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia is reporting of a highly pathogenic bird flu virus. So China and Saudi Arabia has a bird flu virus. Plagues, pestilence, Matthew 24, 7. A plague of locusts caused tens of millions of dollars worth of damage. Devastating East Africa. So you got locust plague in East Africa. You got locust plague in Saudi Arabia. In Yemen. Well, the crosshairs there's roughly 360 billion live producing locusts, a swarm the size of Manhattan. So now you have locusts in Africa, locusts in Saudi Arabia, and Yemen. 360 billion producing locusts, the size of Manhattan. That's almost impossible to believe, like 800 million masks in China. And their locusts are descending upon the land, blocking out the sun at times in Saudi Arabia and Yemen. So the locusts are so thick that they're blocking out the sun where it's dark in the middle of the day. And we know that the locusts, they eat the vegetation, they eat all the greenery, anything that's green, anything's vegetable. It's like the plague of locusts back in Egypt, huh? We're in the last days. And it just says also that all these are just the beginning of sorrow. We're in just the beginning of sorrow. And people don't understand the problem that we're really facing. Perilous times are ahead of us. I know I said it two weeks ago. Perilous times are ahead of us. We haven't seen nothing yet. We haven't seen nothing yet. And now what? Here in New Orleans, the only thing they're worried about, they're not worried about the locusts. They're not worried about uh, the, the bird flu. They're not worried about the coronavirus. They're not worried about floods or hurricanes. The only thing they worry about right now is Mardi Gras. And in fact, they have a building that collapse that they was working on the, the Hard Rock building in New Orleans and it's right where the parade would have passed for the Mardi Gras season and it's they, they don't know what to do with it yet they still have two bodies in there and one it's just a sad thing 
um, what, four months now, I think it is, almost four months, and they still had the bodies in the building, they didn't get the bodies out. And the only thing they worried about is rerouting the, the parades for Mardi Gras. Rerouting the parades for Mardi Gras. That's all they worried about. A sinful, lustful times, two weeks of debauchery, and people throwing up and having sex in the streets. That's all they worried about. They're not worried about anything else. Do we have locusts in Yemen, locusts in Saudi Arabia, locusts in Africa, bird flu in China, bird flu in Saudi Arabia, coronavirus in China. They have ships, two ships, one of them in Italy. I think it has something like 6,000 people on, if I'm not mistaken. They're quarantined, they can't go nowhere. And then I seen, uh, where was it at? Japan, I think it is. I seen today on the news, they have a ship over there and it's quarantined. The people cannot get off the ship. They really can't even leave the rooms because they shut everything down. You know how these fancy ships, they got the 24 hour gluttony, I call it, the buffet? Well, they can't go get nothing to eat. They ration out of cans because they're, they, they're concerned about the people being infected. They're concerned about the food being infected. And I seen a couple on television, I felt sorry for them, they, they stuck in their cabin, trying to eat out of cans and trying to drink bottled water. It's quarantine. Could it be, never think maybe possible that this is another sign of a, the Antichrist about ready to come, you know, they're holding these people hostage China won't let nobody, won't let their people go. The, the ship in Japan won't let nobody off. The ship in Italy won't let them, they're quarantined, stay there. It's like maybe the government, the Antichrist, is shooting up or doing something to cause a virus like the coronavirus to spread where they can start quarantining people and holding people hostage, maybe a test run, so to speak for when the day comes the Antichrist comes and you don't accept the mark of the beast. Who knows? I don't know. I may be thinking out of the box there, you know, but I don't know. And we've been having earthquakes, and the Bible also speaks in, in Matthew 24, it, it, it also talks about the, the earthquakes. And it says that there'll be earthquakes in diverse places, earthquakes all over the place. And just within the last week, within the last couple of days, Virginia had a small earthquake, it was a 2.7 on the magnitude on, on the Richter scale, but it's still an earthquake nevertheless in Virginia. Northwestern Tennessee had 11 earthquakes since January the 7th. These little small earthquakes, you're not going to hear much about it right now because the, the only thing they had on television was impeaching Trump or the coronavirus and that was it. Now the impeachment's over, now all we're going to do is talk about the coronavirus. But 11 earthquakes in northwestern Tennessee since January the 7th. That's, all, that's, that's what, a month away, from, four weeks ago, a month away from, uh, four weeks, let's see, January 7th, yeah, January 7th, February 7th. That's only four weeks ago. Eleven earthquakes. Hawaii had a 4.2 on the Richter scale. New Zealand had a 5.2 on the Richter scale. Watch this one. Yosemite Park had a 4.4 on the Richter scale. They said it was deep, deep down where you really couldn't feel much, but it was still in all, it is an earthquake. And God is shaking planet Earth. He's quaking planet Earth. He's rocking planet Earth. I seen Venezuela is on fire and they have, I don't know, eight, 10, 12 fires that, that's not contained yet. And then they having flash floods over there after they had a heavy rain. God is pouring his wrath on, on planet Earth and you haven't seen anything. Pull up your boots, put on your hard hats because perilous times are coming and this is just the beginning of sorrows. We need to come to Christ today. We need to repent. And then I was watching the debate tonight with the Democratic Party and the only thing they're concerned about is 
A woman's right to do what she wants with her body. That was one of the, that was pretty much the biggest issue of the debate, that a woman has the right to murder a child. But yet then in the same breath they say that a baby has the right to have medical insurance, free medical insurance that they need to be taken care of. But won't they take care of them while they're in the womb instead of killing them? America, uh, America is a murderous country. We don't have to worry about terrorists killing us off. We're killing ourselves off. And we're starting with the, the unborn. America needs to wake up. America's laying in its coffin. And God's getting ready to close the lid on America's coffin. God's getting ready to close the lid on America's coffin. Things are getting bad. Things are going to get worse. Well, you know, people tell me, I asked somebody to tell me the other day, well, you know, they've been saying, Jesus is going to come and blah, blah, blah. So just hang on, he's coming. Hang on. He's coming sooner than what you think. Faster than what you're expecting. Much quicker than you want. Well, you know, we had a, you know, a guy told me, he said, we had, uh, uh, you know, uh, everything like that when we were kids. I said, no, we never had homosexuals teaching us in school. We never had homosexuals going to libraries and dressed up like, 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 a, like a female with, with horns and all. It's gotten to a point now where the, back in the, in the 70s and 80s, the transvestites or trans testicles or whatever you want to call them, they would just dress up and want to look like a woman. Now they want to look demonic and have horns and stuff like that, the baphomet horns. And uh, so, you know, we never had that when we were kids. And, you know, no, we didn't blaspheme God's name and we didn't uh, curse God and we didn't, you know, we respected preachers. So, no, it's not the same as it was uh, 50, 60 years ago when I was a kid, you know. Uh, but, you know, Jesus is coming soon. And I tell you people, if you're not born again, if you're not saved, it's time to come to Jesus Christ tonight. Don't wait. Don't wait. Till tomorrow, you may die tonight. Jesus may pick us up off the earth tonight, and if you're not ready, you'll be left behind. But you can die tonight. You can die tonight. I don't care who you are. My son almost died two weeks ago. In fact, thank you for the prayers. He's doing great. He's out the hospital, doing good. Now I just pray for his soul that he will come to Christ and walk with the Lord. But I keep him up in prayers. Keep praying for him. His name, his name is Jonathan. And uh, keep him in prayer to come to the Lord and serve God. And I just want to say thank you very much. And this is Jimmy Miller, a little short message today. And I'm just an old servant of the living God. An enemy of Satan. Repent, America. Cry out to God. Cry out to God. God bless you. I'll leave the music on a little while so you can hear it.